Here we go. Uh, just give it a minute. Get everything situated and get where I want to be for com for being comfortable. And get some water. All right. Well. Uh, welcome back to Okami. Uh, last time, we transitioned the stream from being like a like, hey guy, this is still a guide, but we've transitioned into silly stream. And just casual playthrough. And since it is almost Halloween, I believe it will not be Halloween by the time Thursday stream kicks on. Uh, no, actually, Thursday is Thursday stream is Halloween, so I might actually move Thursday stream to Wednesday or Friday, the day before the day after Halloween. Or maybe I'll stream like Resident Evil 2 on on like on Halloween as spooky. Um, but today is the spook slash or the spooky slash not. Hashtag not actually spooky stream of Okami. Uh, last time we came here, what we do? We ride in Ryoshima Coast. We did a whole bunch. We actually saved the city. We cured the emperor. Uh, we got some more glaives, which we're not actually going to use. Well, we got one new glaive. We tried it, didn't like it, bought a new for it. Wasn't really kind of my style. We weren't going to roll with it. So here we are back with our reflector. No new weapon, no new, like, we got the exorcism beads. Oh, yeah, that is something we got, yeah. Uh, we found the Emperor. We actually bought the Fog Pot ability, which allows us to fast travel via Origin Mirrors, which is awesome. And I don't think I spent any more praise. No, I never spent any of the praise I had. And we're, you know what? We're going to keep on that trend. We're going to grind up our praise. So I'm trying to think. We saved the town, so I think the first thing we should go do is... I think actually explore the Aristocats' quarters, cause like I know where we're supposed to go now, but we're actually just gonna wait. We're gonna revive everything around Sand City. So this is gonna we're just gonna kind of like chill around now this time. This will be a lot more relaxed. We're just gonna kind of go around and collecting stuff. Other than in the meantime, I actually spent most of my weekend. Hey Paul! Wow! Hey Pause! What up, man? Already here. I actually spent pretty much my entire weekend watching TV, and. Uh, collecting my gold crowns because I'm trying to get my platinum trophy in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And let me tell you, Monster Hunter, exceedingly fun. If you want to suck all the fun out of that game in one in like one weekend, uh, try to collect gold crowns, small and large monsters. Ooh, that is, that is not a fun thing to do. And my portfolio of games that I want to buy is steadily increasing because there are a lot of games I suddenly want to buy that are either already out or that are coming out. And pause, hopefully you're having a much better day this today than last Thursday. And it seems like it because that was a very excited hello. So I'm assuming your day is going a lot better this time and that's wonderful to hear. And we're gonna we're gonna boost the positive bo yeah, boost the positivity by restoring Seon City. Cause this place was looking drab. It was looking super drab, now it's just drab. But now we're gonna make it look extra good. Even though I'm almost confident there's a lot of side quests I still can't do. I know one for sure I can't do. Alright. I don't think there's any treasure in the canal in, canal in this area. I don't think there is. Oh, there's Ben if we wanted to get some more fish. But we do not want to fish no more. At least not with him. Um... Yeah, we're gonna be grabbing a lot of praise. I'm gonna, uh, I might go after the burglar now, just because going after the burglar will still give me some praise. But I believe it's his last phase that you need thunder for, and since we don't have that, we can't do that. But I, I think I'm still gonna do some of it. Like I'm gonna try to get most of Sand City out of the way this time. So this is just gonna be like a lot of like grabbing stuff. Because, like, I need to go talk to Himiko now that I have the Mist ability. But I want to revive everything first before I kind of uh, head off and do all of that. I know I can do the one girl's draw uh, charcoal drawing thing, which I honestly, I, I hate that side quest. I feel like that is really hard to do. Like, it's the really hard one is the four-leaf clover, but it's the heart. The heart is, like, the hardest one to draw in, like, the world. 
And I don't I don't know why drawing the heart is so difficult. At least for me. Like maybe there's a trick too, but I can't remember what it is. But like every playthrough of drawing the heart is always the absolute hardest. I think I can actually do I don't remember his name, Mr. Blossom, the tree guy in Seon City. I think I can do his now, right? I don't think I need any new power for that one. I don't think I do. Oh man, we're we're easily we're easily gonna break a thousand praise very soon. But I don't need any health, and I don't need any more ink at the moment. So I don't I don't really feel like I'm pressured into like using any of it at the moment. Uh, I can't go up here. There was a treasure, but yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't go any higher up here. Uh. Yo, yeah, it, it, that quest is hard on the PS3 and 4, and even on the 2. I can't imagine how hard that is. I mean, it's fun if you like drawing, but like, I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get her straight bead, man. I don't, I don't need, I don't need her to tell me my drawing abilities aren't up to snuff, because I just want that straight bead, man. I think you have to draw the heart from the bottom, and like, usually when I draw hearts in real life, I have, I start from like the top. And draw bold has, and I don't. I don't think you can do that in her in her side quest. At least I don't think you can. Also, man, for not wearing my glasses, looking at like small text, like I can see that my eyes are not adjusted anymore to the abilities of glasses. And I don't like wearing con. I would never wear contacts, at least at this point in my life, because the idea of like holding my eye open. And trying to stick something in it freaks me out. <laughs> freaks me out immensely. And I'm not about to stick my finger in my own eye. Be like, hey, here, put a contact, put a contact in, and uh, be able to see better. And I'll be like, yeah. By the time I'm done with this, I'll be blind. Other than that, over the weekend, watched a lot of uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which is actually really good. I actually really like that show now. And watched the. Premiere of the first half season, the first half of the uh, Bojack Horseman final season, and oh man, that show is so good. Like I, we binged it Friday night, and I am a little bit salty that we have to wait until the end of January to see the second half of that. That is very upsetting. <laughs> All right, I think I can turn it. Do I have the item for? Oh, I do. I do have it. Okay, cool. Sweet. I'm actually going to do that. Because this will give us... This will give us straight up Inferno. Yeah, what up, dude? Yeah, since I picked up that gold mushroom way earlier on, I can actually get the power up. Bojack's a good show. Bojack, um... It's a show that kind of... It's a really dark, like, it's. it looks silly because it's a cartoon, but it's really good in the fact that, like, it handles really adult themes in, like, a really funny yet good way. Uh, JoJo's is good. I don't think we're on season two yet. We are in, like, the middle slash end of Joseph Joestar, the one that's, like, who partners uh, Caesar. And Joseph is my favorite of the two so far. Like, I like Jonathan, but if I'm being honest, Jonathan did, like, there just there was just something about him that wasn't that wasn't quite clicking for me, but Joseph is hilarious and I love him. All right, that takes care of all the fire brush power ups because now we have Inferno, which I mean is good, but I mean I think all the advanced brush techniques use three pots of ink to use. I'll test it when I get outside the bar the sh cook place. I did it, my yeah. Oh yeah. Oh dude. All right. Rice stew, and I think rice stew actually maxes it out, but we just ate them all, so I yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that that actually already took care of in here. I think that's the only thing in here for us. When they introduce stands, Joseph stands the same for like two more parts, I think. Him and the old man. Um, by old man, do you mean like okay? Cause 
I think the only old man kind of in the show around right now where I'm at is Speedwagon. And Speedwagon was in like season one. Speedwagon, Speedwagon is awesome. Speedwagon is so funny. Like he's he's less funny in season two because he's a little bit more serious and he's not in it as much. But Speedwagon is super funny in season one. In like part in like like we're still in season one, so like it's not like we're in season two. We're still in season one, but like the the first the first half of season one is just so good. All right, you. I'm not gonna talk to you because I already know what you want. And wait, what? Okay. There we go. Okay, I want to bloom trees now. <laughs> blow their leaves off. Uh, the really like one of the best parts of of like the first half of season one with Jonathan Jonathan Joestar. Like, one of the best parts is just Dio, because, like, he's... G Dio is just entertaining to watch. And Speedwagon. Uh, Zeppali... Z oh, I always forget his name. I always say Zeppali, like, the Olive Garden dessert. Zeppali. Like, he's... I Like, I don't... I don't really like... I don't really like him, unfortunately. I like... I like Caesar. I just don't... I don't like... I don't like his grandfather. And Jonathan's entertaining the fact that he's like a big gentleman, but that's just that's not enough for me. Alright, that tree is cursed. Oh, there's a lot of trees to bloom here. We're actually burning through ink, but that's fine. Right, more hidden treasure. Wait, there is there like a so like on Hulu there's only three seasons of JoJo. Because there's what? There's Jonathan is the beginning, and then it's Joseph, and then my other half told me there's Jotaro, but like, there's more than that? Because we're, we're, like, we're still in season one, I'm pretty sure, and it feels like, I, like, I don't, I don't know what Dio's in, like, Dio's only in, the, like, Jonathan story, like, he's not the main bad guy of, of Joseph, of Joseph's story. Alright, is there anything inside this house? Well, I will look. Oh, okay, so Crunchyroll has five. Okay, yeah, yeah. Netflix only has one season, and Hulu has three. So there's actually two more seasons, but those are only on, those are only on Crunchyroll. Okay, all right. Well, I guess inevitably that means I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, hit. A free trial of Crunchyroll. Oh, it becomes uh, like a, in part three or season three. All right, I don't want to bring fire here, so I'm just gonna. Excuse me. <laughs> what? I thought that would have worked, but I guess not. Uh, that tree's cursed. There are no trees over there. Wow, Sand City is really quiet at night. I forgot how weirdly quiet this was. Oh, we're losing so much ink. I need to. Oh wait, wait, wait. Mm, there we go. Uh, part three, I think it's they introduce stands. Is stands a character? Or stands in like. All right, I don't know which one of you's cursed. Neither of you were cursed. Mm, got it. Uh, you. Uh, wait. I'll check behind your house. Cause look, there's a treasure. Stands are the new ability. Okay, okay. So they don't. You. They don't just use Hummel of Hummel forever. Cause like right now, Hummel is like still like the big the big thing. Yeah, dude, I don't. Shh. Oh, yeah, you don't have you don't have anything new for me. Yeah, never mind. Forget you. Oh, stands replace Hummel. Oh wow. Okay. I thought Hummel would have been like I assume like a part of the show like kind of forever. Like, does Hummel evolve into stands or stands just like replaces it just outright? All right. 
I'm trying to th think of where I'm at. I grabbed everything around here. Curse tree. Uh, not a curse tree. I need to light these torches. Oh, hey, hidden treasure. Nice. See, I like I like the humble with Joseph. Okay, wow, there's a lot of parts. See, like when you say parts, I get kind of confused because like there's like because on on Hulu there's seasons, so I don't know if like by part three it's like I don't know if the equivalent of that is like part three, or if that's like season like because Joe like I like I've been saying I like sorry for being redundant, but like part. Like, right now, Joseph is, like, I guess, part two of season one. So, yeah, I... There's gonna be a lot, like... Well, I'm not gonna get that Crunchyroll, like, free trial until I at least finish, like, seasons one through three on, on Hulu. Okay. No, that that's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm very new to JoJo, like... Um, my other half started watching it, I think, I think like the very end of last week, I think on Thursday or Friday. So we're not, we're not like, we've been, wa we've been watching through a lot of it pretty quick, honestly, but like we just started like very recently and like she's already watched it, I believe, or at least not all of it. And I've, I've never seen it before until now. So I've, this is my first time watching JoJo's and I mean, I was kind of like mad about it at first. I was like, this is kind of like typical anime, like it's kind of silly. Um, but like for some reason like now I now I just love it. Alright. Yeah. This should be a straight beat right here. Yeah, no, wow, okay, well that's a new health fragment. And see, we don't we don't need to upgrade our health, because like our health is just upgrading itself. Oh, but there is one right Okay, no, I I jumped up there. Okay, did I already grab the stray bead, or was there only a sunfire? I wasn't even paying attention to everything I just grabbed. I just kind of grabbed stuff. <laughs> That's all right, whatever. That's good. That's good. My my favorite anime to the, my favorite anime to this day is still Dragon Ball Z. But that's because I that's because I grew up on that. Like I grew up on Dragon Ball Z. I have a coworker that's like just started uh, like the whole series of Dragon Ball, like the whole thing. So he's watching Dragon Ball. And man, I was like, dude, when you get to Z, I was like, you got so much stuff to watch. But yeah, my my favorite anime to this day is still has still got to be Um Dragon Ball Z. I like I like Naruto, but like Naruto has so much so much filler that when I got to Shippuden and like a little bit into Shippuden, I just I just read it. I stopped I was like, I'm not even gonna watch this. There's too much filler. I'm just gonna read it. Hey, don't mind me. I'm coming to your house and stealing your stuff. Hopefully this is going to give us a lot of money because like, I need some more money. Alright, I think to start the drawing sequence, I think I have to talk to this guy first. I think I have to. Yeah. Uh, the Tenkaichi games are pretty good. I'm like a Budokai 3 purist. <laughs> Drawing my shirt. Wow, that's bad. Yes. I know that the design you need, but I just I don't know if I had to talk to you to start your side quest. A really good anime that is really good and unique was Ko Lyoko on Toonami before it was like on the adult time like on the adult time at like late at night. Ko Lyoko was awesome. I love that show. Like that that show was like peak anime slash video game like melded into one. And that show was amazing. I don't remember if I finished Kolioko or maybe it didn't have like an official ending. It probably just like stopped. I, I don't remember actually. Alright, I don't know if there's anything over here. By the looks of it, no, but I will go inside your house and see if I can rob it. Because maybe there's stuff? Oh, well, he's in here. Ah, I don't want to talk to you. 
I don't think you're important. All right, I need to go light those torches. And then I think I have to go talk to the Blossom person, because they might have more for me now. Now that I've revived what I think is every tree in San. No, don't go there. Okay. Oh, that does not restore my water. All right, well, kind of figured. All right, well, let's... Well, for the daytime, let's go do the Mr. Blossom first. That might be the best. Oh, no. Crud. That may be the best order to do things in. Because the trees will be a little bit easier to see in the daytime than they are at night. Am I good? Oh, I've never seen Space Dandy, but Cowboy Bebop is good. We actually have Cowboy Bebop on DVD. We didn't actually finish it all the way through, but... Yeah, I know the tree is not in good shape, bro. I'm sure you'd like to see the... But I shall save my dance so the trees that are... Just one more to go. Oh, oh, it's in your house. That's right. Okay. Ah, uh, see, you almost had me there. Ha <laughs> ha. You got anything? You got anything in here? Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, there's a stray bead. Sweet. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Now we can do the Garua. Garua shuffle. Like, Naruto is still a good anime as well. Like, Naruto's awesome. But, like, Naruto's big, big complaint is there's too much filler in it. Like, a lot of filler. Alright. Oh, I forgot you to wait to this dance. Sweet. All right. Next. Let's go. Oh, I forgot that you run around and not like. Come on, like, dude, you passed like a cursed tree on your way here. Like, what are you doing? All right, there's another one down. Oh, yeah, run run back this way. Yeah, that, that makes sense. At least you get this awesome music that I... The, the chaotic music I like so much. All right, I gotta make sure I don't draw a win instead of a circle. That'd be bad. Alright. Give me one moment. Alright, good. Are you gonna jump straight? Oh, yeah, you were. Alright, I think there's only... One or two more, or maybe three more, because I'm not counting his house. I think there's two more. There's this one. Alright, now back to his house. Yes. Shoot. Right, yeah, back to the house. All right. There we go. Oh, that one, okay. That, that's one? Oh yeah, cause the herbal medicine we got. Yeah, that's right, that's right. All right, well, we're over a thousand. Do I actually have the herbal medicine? I think I do. I do, okay, yeah. All right, thank you, Haas, for reminding me. Wow, that was just an awful jump. She was over on this side. 
I think she was way over here, right? Yeah, okay, yep. Alright. Oh, I need his medicine! Well, guess what? We offer the herbal medicine. Oh, thank you, pause. I forgot all about that. Oh, 20 praise. I don't... I don't think there's anything else to this quest line, is there? Do I have to hit him up? I do. Okay, wow. <laughs> do you only give me praise, or are you... I don't think you're a straight beat, are you? Oh, well. Uh, hey. What other illness? Oh, well. Alright, well, whatever. I mean, that's still 20 praise. I forgot all about that. Sweet. Alright, is he anywhere around town? or? Oh, wow, he's outside. Okay, yeah. Uh, sure. Do you have something? Or do you just tell me about Oni Island? Oh! Oh, the Milla dumplings I get from the thief. Momotaro looks kind of weird. I mean, he's cute because he's small, but he lo his face looks kind of weird. I think the millet dumplings, dumplings are from the thief. All right, well, let we'll head up to Waka's fortress and then we'll do the torches and do the bandit. I think that's the last thing we can do in Seon. Oh, and 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 the girl. Wow, I keep forgetting about the I keep forgetting about the little girl. <laughs> uh that's how much I dread the drawing mini game that I keep I keep forgetting about her. All right, Waka's fortress. Cause I know you have treasure. I know you have treasure up here. That's why I'm up here. Cause I don't think there's anything else besides returning the guy's town. Oh no! Oh, dude, come on. Besides the dude's town mask, but we can't do anything about that. Oh, that's why he kind of looks like a monkey. Oh, I know this game has a lot of legend, like a lot of stuff in the game. Okay, I know there's a lot of stuff in this game based off like let like you know legends and lore. But a lot of them I don't know or I don't like think about. So I guess it makes sense that Momotaro is probably based on something. I don't. Is there anything in here? I don't think there is. I mean, I'll look, but. Yeah. Yeah, there's no treasure in here. Well, I'll come back later and return your mask and get that stray bead from you, bro. But right now, I can't. All right, let's do that girl's little drawing thing. Let's let's at least give that a sh oh sh a shot. Cause you are right over here. All right. Yeah, I'll give you some charcoal. Yeah, we'll give it to her. Oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's see. The stars first. Should be pretty easy to draw the star. Because it's a star, a heart, a four-leaf clover, and then it's the kanji. It's the kanji symbol for God. I think that's what that last symbol is. All right. You. Yeah, help you out. All right. Good. That one corner is kind of. All right, there. We got that one done. Always have to wait for that second jingle to know if you got the girl's design right. The star is pretty easy, so I wasn't worried about that one. If, if it's the heart, that's the one I'm worried about. All right. Run all the way back to the little girl. And... 
Look, it's your design. It's like I did it. All right, what do you got next? The ah, oh, jeez. All right. This is where I start getting stumped because the heart is difficult to draw. Watch I get it in one try, because logic. Whenever I play this game casually, not on stream, I struggle with the heart for a while. And now I'm on stream, I'll be like, oh, flawless one time. All right. Yeah, that design's out. Time for a new one. All right. Of, of course, of course, the first time I draw the heart design and it works perfectly. Ah, oh, of course. Because why wouldn't it work out that, that way? Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, luck, I guess. Isn't the 4th Clover next? All right. Yeah, I'm I'm trying really hard to get my platinum in Monster Hunter because like I have so many other games to a V. All right, forgot about that one. Like I have so many other games I have to play besides Monster Hunter, but like I like that game so much that it's like my uh, like my crutch game. So I just always like fall back on playing that when I can't play when I don't, when I can't think of to play anything else. And I also have a hard time like. Moving on to a new game when I haven't like fully completed another one Because what is it? I have to play um, Yeah, there's your V yeah, pretty easy there All right Because I have to well a buddy of mine wants me to play the bat the Batman Arkham like the Batman trilogy of games He bought that for me for ps4 on a deal so he wants me to play those, which like, I'll get to those eventually, but that's kind of like a side game. Um, I have to finish Final Fantasy VIII Remaster that I started and got like almost halfway through and then like Iceborne came out and then I just started to play Monster Hunter like to death. Wait, which part sounded cool? I said a lot of stuff there, I'm sorry. Alright, what's after the V? The four leaf clover. Alright, this one's pretty easy. Yeah, well, I, uh. Oh, Batman. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um. Yeah, I, I played a fair bit of the first Batman game when he bought it, when he got it for me, and, like, I played a fair bit of that one. And I, I liked it. I mean, you can definitely tell that it's old, like, it's older. You can tell. It's still good. I just. I play a lot of games. All right, for the flow let's do this. Uh. Wow, dude, I'm we're crushing through these right now, man. Holy cow, we're getting through these very easily. Yeah, what is it? Um, trying to remember. Yeah, I. You have to finish FF8 Remaster for PS4. Thank you. I mean, the V and the 4th Clover aren't very hard. It's, it's like I said before, it's the heart that messes me up. And I don't know why the heart is, was so easy this time. And yeah, she's giving me a lot of praise. All right, this should be the last one. Yeah. Okay. This one should be... Pretty easy as well. I have to get my Platinum Trophy and Castle Crashers for PS4 since it finally came out for PS4. And that, that's going to take a lot of grinding, so that just takes a lot of time. And then on my Nintendo Switch, I have I literally have to play Astro Chain. I haven't even like barely played that game. And then... Uh, one second... Right? I, that probably doesn't look right. No, wow, that, yep, that did it. Wow. 
Uh, why did I, why did I, why did I dread that? Not really sure why I was dreading that for so long. That was actually pretty easy. Um, yeah, and then, like, for games coming out, like, I have to, like, we plan on buying, like, Medieval that came out, of, like, last Friday to play that. Um, although I heard that game got, got kind of, like, you know, lukewarm reviews. Dude, first attempt. The RNG is real. All my, all my RNG that was meant for Monster Hunter to get crowns, it's, it's, it's here. I'm playing, I'm playing the wrong game. Because <laughs> my RNG does not exist in Monster Hunter, but it exists here. And thank you, thank you. I'm just going to say it was the support of the viewers that gave that, that boosted our RNG. We're doing this at, even like, we're doing this as a team. Alright, now, let's take care of the last thing we can do in Seon City, which is this. Kind of sucks that you get Inferno and can't, like, just use Inferno. Okay, no. There we go. I mean, let's just light everything. Well... You know what? I don't need to, but for aesthetics, let's just light everything. Everyone's saying is like, there's fire literally everywhere. What is going on? They're like, we are in danger. <laughs> this dog is walking around and setting everything on fire. Alright. Whoop. And there we go. So now, I don't think I need to talk to him, I just have to slice this. No? Is it this one? No. Okay, well we consumed a gourd. Um, is it this one? Is that one? Okay, cool. Hehehehe. <laughs> I can't be caught, I'm the great thief. Well, your, your, your Master of Thieves rank ends today. See, this quest I think is kind of fun. It can be difficult only with lightning, but it's not like if you get the lightning weapon, it's actually pretty easy. Water and fire. Well, watch this. And wow. Yeah, uh, that was pretty easy. This one is really fun. Bit sticks. Uh, the watch goes to this guy, I think. It do wow. I know you talk to people to find out that they're missing stuff, but like... Memory. Alright, now do I have to make it nighttime again? Or can I just break the rocks and he'll show up again? Um, I guess we're about to find out. Okay, well, that answered my question. Hehehe, <laughs> well, looks like you got me. You're gonna get me again. Power slash, water, fire. Pretty easy. So, power slash. Water. And... Fire. Ah, uh, he doesn't even get to run around. All right, these are the dumplings that go to Momontaro. I think, right? Whoop. Memory games are pretty fun. My my other half really likes uh, like word search puzzles, crosswords, stuff like that. Okay, wait, Momontaro. Oh, you're only here in the day, aren't you? Okay, yeah, these were Momos. Well, he's only here in the daytime, apparently, so. Momo, here you go, homie. Now, how many more are there? Like, can I do his? Look? Is there one or two more of the thieves? Because I don't know if the next one's the thunder one or not. Because the thunder one, I believe, is the very last one. 
but I don't know if there's another one before that one. There might be? I don't remember. Yeah, that's where we're gonna, we're gonna find out. Because, I, like I said, I know Thunder's the last one. So we got Water, Power Slash, Fire, Water. Alright, pretty easy order. So we got Water, Power Slash, Ooh, that's a bad angle. Alright, we're gonna let him get away. Can I... And water. Woo! Alright. This one is, uh, all right, I think I know where this one goes. I think it goes in the restaurant because there's a woman there. The last one I know is the towel mask. Uh, you? No. Y you? No. Is it you? Oh, it okay, yeah, cool, okay, sweet. Alright, so now we can't do anything else in Sand City because we um, bloomed all the flowers, did as much as the thief as possible. We did the girl side quest, which is really easy. I think now we have to go to Himiko. I think that's the only I think that's the only thing we can do right now. I believe so. Because we can't I mean, what are we looking at money? Uh, 142,000. So we can buy the insult move where we pee on enemies to get demon fangs. We might want to do that because I know we're going to need the golden ink pot. And we're going to want the water tablet. So maybe we'll s buy that. I mean, we also have a lot of stuff to sell actually too. So we're actually looking, we're actually looking pretty solid for stuff we can buy and use. All right. But yeah, like, segueing back to like games coming out, like, since we're just gonna be going through here to Himiko's thing and we're gonna like ignore her talking because that's how we are. Um, I, uh, how do you pronounce it? It's, it's by Spike Chunstop, the same makers of like Danganronpa and things like that. It's, it's AI the Som Somnia, the Somnia Files. It's like a point and click like a uh, mur like murder mystery game so like so if you like kind of like I know you like memory matching but if you like kind of if you like really any style of puzzles uh, you'll probably like I assume you'll like that game I haven't actually played it yet but I downloaded the demo that's available right now and I'm I'm feeling that game I, I might buy that game but by principle alone I won't buy any new game until I at least beat my platinum for ice board. I know I keep mentioning Monster Hunter, and I apologize for that. But like, God, it's like my favorite game of all time now. Like I've played that game more. I have more time. I have more hours in that game than any other game I have ever played, ever played. And I spent a lot of time raising Chow in like Sonic Adventure 2 Battle on the GameCube. Like I played, I played that mode to death. And I've played Monster Hunter more than that game. Alright. Up to Himiko's Palace. I don't think there's anything hidden around here in her palace, is there? I like I know what this is. Like I know what that's for later on, but that's not useful to us right now. Can I? Oh, I can go in here. All right. I don't know if there's actually any. I don't think I've ever actually been in this one. I probably have. You probably actually come here early on, later on. Oh no, it's it's all right. I you could. Monster Hunter's good. It's it's an acquired taste though. Like it's it's not easy. Like it's a it's a learning it's a learning process game. Oh yeah, see, yeah, I, yeah, I, I see that. Oh well. Like, what is it? When Monster Hunter World first came out, 
like my my other half is a big is a big fan of that franchise so like she's the one that kind of got me into it because when world was coming out there was a beta for it before it came out so i downloaded it for her on the psn to play and she she liked it she loved it so she had me try it she had me try the beta and i was like uh I was like, I don't like this game, like, I don't like how it plays, I don't like the mechanics of it, like, I wasn't feeling it. But then when the game, like, officially came out, and I watched her play it, I was like, hey, that actually looks kind of fun. Like, that looks fun, like, it's very grindy, like, it's incredibly grind-heavy. Like, you just fight the same set of monsters and, like, boss fights over again, and just get better at learning them and just, you know, beat them. But, man, I, there's something about the grind, like, there's an addiction to the grind of getting better that I, I can't I I can't get enough of. So in like a month of that game coming out, I went from uh I don't like this game, I don't like how it play oh I can't I can't go here yet. I am I'm bad. I messed up royally, I know what I messed up. I totally forgot at the end of last stream that we saw Kaguya and she went back to Sasa Sanctuary and I legit legit forgot all about that and was about to jump into a pool of lava and die. But, luckily, I still hung on to my mermaid coins to fast travel. So this will work. But at least we got all that side questing stuff out of the way for now. So, like, we don't actually have a whole lot of Saiyan City left to do. Alright. Oh, we get in our digging minigame. Yes. Sweet. Alright. Back to Sasa Sanctuary. Get some water real quick. All right, cool. Oh, so refreshing, so good. But yeah, like uh, AI Somnia Files like is already out, and I want to get that. We check we checked out a demo of Disgaea 4 Complete Edition, and it looks interesting. Like maybe we'll get that, but I think it might be a little bit too expensive for both of our tastes. Yeah, no, we have Fog Pop, but I know there's a, I know there's a a Mermaid Spring inside. Sasa Sanctuary, so it's faster to travel. Because I think the only fog, because you can only fast travel on the mirrors that are have the red X on them. So I actually think using a mermaid coin is faster in this situation, only because they're closer to our destinations. And I forgot to grab these treasures the first time we were here. Yeah, I I grab fog pot because like that's gonna be like our free method of uh, transportation. But for now, since we don't have, or since we have that, this this works just fine. Because I still bought those mermaid coins, so I still I still have them, so we might as well use them. All right, another digging mini game. Here we go, Kaguya, the not human, the alien. And honestly, this moment in the actual game is like really touching. Because even though he knew, he still loved her. And of course, she leaves a crop circle, like all aliens do, like the stereotype. What the? Alright, here we go. Hey, Kaguya, she jumped to her death, no! Alright, well, we still got good ink. This digging mini game should be pretty easy. Oh, Kagi, are we going? This way! Well, oh, whoops. This way. Uh, let's see. Alright, get her over here. Dig this real quick. Uh, let's bomb over here. Alright. Alright, wait on that to blow up. Yeah, th like, this moment is very touching in the actual game. Alright, let's see. I did use Cherry Bomb, because, like, yeah, it uses up ink, but it blows up stuff so fast. Although, I think I just messed up. No. No, we're still good. Come on, Kaguya. Yeah. 
All right, now we're just gonna mash triangle the dig because we're not gonna use the trade bomb for like a couple blocks. Although. Uh, dude, did I take the long way? Ah, oh, son of a gun. My own negligence hurt me. Also, give me that money. All right. Now we're gonna match triangle again. Wait, you don't like the digging mini games? What? Dude, the Diggy minigames are like my favorite. Uh, is it this one? <laughs> Man, so I don't like the part of the game where you're small because spiders, because you like spiders and I don't. But I love the Diggy minigames and you don't? What? Pause. Come on, man. But the Diggy minigames are so fun. All right. That was actually pretty easy. I feel like I could have saved a lot of time by not just blowing stuff up recklessly, but it's fast. It's fast. All right, now she gives me the fire tablet. Then we can go see Himiko, then we can go to North Rishima Coast, and then there's like a million more things to explore. All right, so. Doesn't Kaguya come back in Okami Den or no? I don't remember. I I don't like I watched I watched a Let's Play of Okami Den, so like I don't know if she actually comes back or not, but maybe she does. Or maybe she's referenced, I don't know. <laughs> no Mal. <laughs> Now, I, I can't remember, does she go back to space or does she go back to like, to, to the celestial plane? Yeah, same. Like, Okami Den probably was pretty good, but I have this, I'm like weird and I don't play stuff on handheld systems, so like... Xenoblade Chronicles, I played, because on the Wii. But when they re-released Chronicles on the uh, Nintendo 3DS, never played it. Like, I, for some reason, I don't play games on handheld. Like, I think the only games I sat down and actually played on handheld on the handheld 3DS were the Ace Attorney games, and that, that was it. I didn't play, like, Xenoblade Chronicles. I didn't play, uh, Okami Den, which is sad, because, like, for how much I love Okami, I feel like I owe it to myself to play Okami Den, but I don't want to play it for the 3DS, man. I just don't. Alright, back to Himiko. Because this is going to allow us to skip straight back into Himiko's, uh, like, like, inner court. Like, right where she's at. So that's why we use the Mermaid Springs, even though we bought Fog Pot. But we also bought Fog Pot because I know verbatim we need it. Uh-oh. I know verbatim we need it when we get to North Ryoshima Coast. Because there's a, there's a rocky area that you can only get to via the Fog Pot. So that, that's that's also why I bought it. Like, I could have gotten the gold ink pop, but we're actually, like... Ever since I upgraded the ink, the ink a couple times, we've never actually struggled with the ink, with running out of ink, like, ever. Like, maybe once or twice, but not really enough to warrant getting the golden ink pot right now. Like, it, it would probably help in the digging mini game in Taka Pass, but I don't... Like, it doesn't really matter to me. And now, we're going to try to jump as much as we can because swimming in lava is very slow. Alright, grab this. And I need to... Shoot. Haha! <laughs> Because swimming is so slow, I like to try to do like really precise double jumps to like skip as much of that as I can. Alright, Himiko. You have a lot of dialogue, I remember that. 
for sure. So pause. Have you tried to coming in and you just you just didn't you didn't like it at all, or you just kind of were like, or were you like me and you were like, uh, 3DS, no thanks. That that Timiko looks at that freaky shut in his praying or something. Oh, I should read it soon's text. I still I still like reading the text. Yeah, you tell her I'm a yeah. Benevolent Amaterasu, I have been waiting for you. And is soon the traveling artist, you too, of course. Hey, how'd you know our names? Anyway, first things first. You knew about that funky mist and the water dragon, didn't you? You've got some explaining to do. Tell us what you're up to. <laughs> Cry crying sounds. My people, my poor people, their suffering torments me. Sickened by this mist and terrorized by the water dragon. The cries of their pain wash over me like a torrent. I mean, they do a good job making you, like, not really believe Himiko. Because you spend so much time with Rao, so you kind of think Himiko's lying. You must be a monster feeding off the ill will it generates. Now stop stalling and rave this grimy old curtain. Come on, show yourself, you old hag. But she's not old. Uh. Oh my god, that's right. I forgot about Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. Ruby, yeah, I played those too. Wow, see? I forget so much. And 50 shiny Pokemon? Holy cow! Aren't the... Alpha, those aren't games. I know there's one game that has a mechanic that makes shiny Pokemon easier to get. Is it... Is it Auras? Or is it some other one? But 50 shinies though, that's impre That takes a lot of luck. Like, my, my luck is nowhere near that high. Nowhere near that high. <gasps> She's... Has no mouth! Like everyone else? And Asun loves her. As ruler, I can't stand by and watch my people suffer. I, Himiko, will not allow this evil to darken Seon. My prayers will not cease until we are rid of this curse. Until I have located the hateful monster's stronghold, Oni Island. What's this about a monster stronghold? Are you saying that that's the source of your city's problems? Oh, Pokemon Let's Go? Do okay. When Pokemon Let's Go came out, everyone, like, you could go out anywhere in public and you were friends, you could be friends with anybody. Like, I remember when that came out, me and my cousin would go into downtown and play it, and everyone was just on a team. Oh, typos are fine. I, I, dude, I miss types, like, I'll text, like, I don't have autocorrect on my texting when I text people, and I, I will miss type stuff all the time. So, typos, typos are no big deal. Don't worry about it. I don't play Pokemon Let's Go anymore, but I am a little bit excited for Sword and Shield. Like, I'm not going to buy when it comes out. I'm going to kind of, like, wait and see how it goes, because Sword and Shield's not really, like... What I've seen isn't impressing me. Not, like, in a mean way. Like, I'm not mad at it for it, but I'm not, like, sold on it. Yeah, like, I don't know if there's reviews out for it yet. Maybe there are. I haven't seen any. I've seen, like, people's, like, impressions, like, early looks at the game. And people aren't, like, sold on it. I'm really excited for Digimon Survive. Like, growing up, I was more of a Digimon fan than Pokemon. So, like, the new Digimon game, I'm, I'm super down for. 
I don't know when Survive comes out, but I'm I'm buying I'm buying that game hands down. Hopefully it's good. Digimon games tend to be hit or miss. But if our enemies knew about my prayers, they would stop at nothing to prevent me in my mission. That is why I have locked myself away. Prayers are are our only hope. Um Yeah. Um Yeah, I maybe they're rushing it like if you watch some of the footage like the environment just look kind of bland. And that's that's really my problem with it. And I know they showed off like the whole like giga maxing and dynamaxing uh stuff for Sword and Shield, but like that's I don't want that. Like I know they're trying to innovate and like change, but it doesn't really like I don't know, it, it's not selling me on it. And yeah, the new Digimon game is Digimon Survive that's like heavily story focused. Apparently choices you make in that game story actually impact the overall story, which is a new like a first for the story for the franchise. And its gameplay is what is it? It's it's RTS style. Like similar to like Disgaea or Fire Emblem where you like have Digimon on like a board and you move them. I'm not super into that gameplay style, but I I will learn to love it. I will learn to love it for Digimon because Digimon is amazing. Alright, now we can like rapidly skip through Himiko's text. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know when Digimon Survive comes out. I think it comes it says it's slated for 2020, so hopefully early 2020. Oh yeah, isn't didn't they say that not all Pokemon are in Sword and Shield? I that I don't I don't know. I mean there's a couple of new Pokemon in Sword and Shield that they've announced that like I think looks pretty cool. Like Alolan Ponyta looks pretty cool. Uh, the, uh, the electric mouse, that's like a Pikachu ripoff, that one looks kind of cool. And, uh, what's his name? Uh, Farfetch's evolution looks pretty cool. So close. Wow, dude, yeah. Like, Pokemon always says, gotta catch them all. If you're not, well, maybe, maybe they're gonna put all the Pokemon in later. So maybe they can't put them all in at the very beginning. So may like maybe like later on in Sword and Shield's life, like maybe beginning of the year, maybe they'll add uh they'll add the uh, remaining remaining Pokemon, maybe. I mean that would make sense if they added the rest of them, cause like that you gotta you gotta have them all in there at some point. Dude, so like, Surfetch looks cool, and Surfetch is only in Sword. I can't remember who Shield's exclusive is, but I like, if I got Pokemon Sword and Shield, I'm getting Sword, man, because one, that legendary just looks way cooler. It's literally Artorius' dog? It, it's it's pretty much the dog boss from Dark, from Dark Souls, the dog that holds the sword in its mouth. So like of course you gotta get sword. That legendary looks way cool, way cooler than the shield one. Maybe I'm alone on that. That's fine. In terms of starter, in terms of starters though, I'm I'm a hundred percent going for Score Bunny. Fire types for life and Score Bunny just looks the coolest to me. All right. My my internet is like really slow. Maybe it's the stream. I hope everything is fine. My stream seems to have froze. Eh. Oh no, there it goes. Sorry about that. I'm back, or maybe I never left. My stream got kind of funky there for a minute on my phone. All right. Well, now we're finally going to North Ryushima Coast. Hey, let me in, bro. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to let me through. Yeah, Sabo, Sabo would be my second pick. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like Rookie, man. 
I'm never sold on grass types, and Grookey's just Grookey's not for me. I don't think Squirrel Bunny will be a fire type. I hope not. In a weird way, and I don't know how this would work. I almost want Squirrel Bunny because it's a rabbit and they have big ears. I almost want it to be a fire flying type. I know we have Charizard, but hear me out. Squirrel Bunny with like big wing ears, kind of like wa how Waka looks with his helmet. That would be cool. Other than that, I mean, a pure fire type I'd be happy with because we had... The fox that was a psychic fire, which was my my favorite type combination, because psychic is my favorite is my favorite Pokemon type. All right, new enemy, let's go. So you're pretty easy, cause I already know what you're weak to. Boom. Three Demon Fangs. Let's go. Let's go. But yeah, I, like I'll probably wait for a lot of reviews, or at least maybe like some like first ha first uh, ha hands on like impressions of people like playing the game before I decide if I'm getting Sword and Shield. Plus, I have a lot of other games to already play. Wait, Lydon was misleading. Wasn't Lydon a dark? Wasn't it a dark fire type? I don't think it was a fighting type, was it? It seemed like a fighting type, but I don't I don't think it was. I I didn't like Sun and Moon a ton, honestly. Like I played through Sun and Moon and beat them, but I I couldn't bring myself to finish Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I I couldn't do it, man. It's too much. All right. Well, now that we're in North Ryoshima Coast, there's a lot to do here as well. And I mean, there's a there's actually like a lot to do here. But the first thing I think we're actually going to do is grab stuff on the ground. Because we're going to fast travel to that secret area. Oh, he was a fighting type. Dude, they over they overdo the fire the fire fighting type. We have Blaziken, Blaziken's the best one. Opinion, hand bet the best. And then we have what's his name? In in Infernape? Infernape. And then the the pig that I I don't I don't like I don't like the pig. I you can't you can't fool me. Uh oh, we might need more meat bags. Uh oh. Is we? Man, I think my stream's like freezing on my phone. I hope chat still refreshes. I hope. I'm still here though, but I might not be able to see anything for a little bit. But it's okay, we're still collecting stuff. Yeah, Sword and Shield I think comes out in like two weeks anyway, so like the, the reviews are gonna start pouring in. I know I'm getting Death Stranding because I, I, Morbid Curiosity wants me to know if that game's good or not. All right, make this nighttime. Aw, oh, dude, I forgot the Water Dragon just hangs out over here. Ugh. Dude, I don't want to see your mug. Get out of here. Let me refresh Twitch. Maybe that will work. I hope. Okay. Pause. Let me make sure the last thing you said. So it's you're trying to get back into a card game? Right? Yeah. Oh, you played the Pokemon TCG card game? Aw, oh, dude. I actually had a coworker buddy that got me into the Pokemon TCG. I'm not, like, I haven't gone to leagues or do anything like that in it yet, but I... I have, I have, a, I have two decks. Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure. Sorry. I had to like close out Twitch and then like reboot it back up, so I'm I'm sorry. Our internet's been like uh, like on my phone, my internet's been like a little spotty uh, all day today. Cause I use my phone to like see to see chat, so. Alright. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. 
Yeah, the the only deck I have in Pokemon is what is it? Oh, it's gonna be hard to remember the cards. I have an Ultra Beast deck, and it the main cards is Dark. I think it's Darkwing Necrozma and Ultra Beast Necrozma. My my main card is, I think it's it's Necrozma, but I don't know what version of it. It's it's the gold one. His main attack is like a metal energy and psychic energy. And the ability on it is for it does like 20 damage. And then for every psychic energy I remove from it does like 80 more damage. So I just stack like a couple psychic energies on it. And then I just do like one big attack. And I pretty, I for the most part, kill almost anything I hit. And that's the that's that's like the main card I have in my deck. I have like a Darkwing that his ability is I can like swap him out with someone, so like that's really good to use. And then who else is there? Oh, see, it's been a while. A Mega Mewtwo Gamma deck. Yeah, I don't know super deep into Pokemon cards. I know my buddy and I were looking at some of the new cards coming out, like. Uh, I'm trying to remember what he said it's called. It's going to be something new, like above GX, because there's EX, GX, and there's going to be a, n a new one. What's uh, what's Mega what's Mega Mewtwo do? Is he like a GX, right? I assume. Oh, uh, no, I need to be nighttime. Sorry, guys. I know you enjoyed that the sun was out, but the sun's going bye-bye again. Sorry. Oh, he's an EX. I assume because it's Mega Mewtwo, I assume it was kind of like with the Sun and Moon, which I think is where GX are introduced. I mean, don't EXs have like the same like overpowered abilities like GXs do? They're just not as as strong. I don't I don't quite know the difference between an EX and a GX, honestly. So sorry if I don't know. But that I mean that's cool. I'm actually that's actually pretty cool you play in leagues. I used to play a lot of Magic the Gathering. And I used to go to like uh Friday Night Magics with like a uh, a couple of buddies of mine. I never like won a a like a modern like a modern league, but I mean I I did pretty good. Like I had a I had an expensive deck honestly. Like, I spent a lot of money on Magic for, like, a handful of years there. Alright, bro. You can talk, but I gotta check out your inventory. Because I need some more... Nope, not that many. I need a couple more feedback. I'll do 15. Do 5. Do 4. I'm gonna do 7, because there's a lot of cats to feed. And we're gonna sell all this stuff that we collected. Because now we should have quite a bit of money. Quote, quite a bit of money. Oh, there we go. Wow, holy cow. Woo! Oh, that's a lot of money. That feels good. All right, we're hitting up a lot of the land of Ryoshima Coast, which is good. Cause this is where a bulk of our, this is where the least amount of exploring is gonna come from. Is this area right around here? Hey, Straby. But yeah, I like magic's fun, but ma like. Pokemon I like a lot better than Magic because Pokemon is way less expensive than Magic. But Mad dude, Magic is super expensive. Oh yeah, I forgot. Waka said he actually cured this cured this area. I forgot about that that he that he did that. I was like, wait, how did that how's that already bloomed? And that's how. Waka did it for us. Um. Yeah, let's check how many we have. 
quite a few. We've gotten, we've actually gotten quite a lot. Yeah, oh yeah, look at that. We're over halfway through the straight bead list. I mean, I don't have all of these, but we've actually made quite a bit of progress. Yeah, there's two people in Shinshu Fields. There's one in Suta Ruins I missed. Where would that one be? Uh oh. There's one in Taka Pass, which might be the digging mini game. There's one in Kusa Village, I don't know where. And there's the Gale Shrines, the Satomi K9 Warriors. The Cidic Checkpoint ones, I already know what those are. And then the Ryoshima Coast one, you're a person, which you're the guy's brother. That one I don't know. And then, yeah, still a lot of stuff and still a couple of beads in Seon City. Uh, yeah, one there and one there. Okay, so still more people, but we're, we're working on those. So we haven't, we haven't actually missed, we haven't actually missed a ton of stray beads, actually. We're actually doing really good. That's awesome. Not sure why my stream keeps messing up on my phone. Damn my phone. Sorry about that sound. Alright. Um, I can't see chat at the moment. I might actually just turn chat on my on my on my screen for future reference. Like it'll show all the chat the entire time, like as the stream goes. But I think in the end that might actually be better, so I don't have to just rely on my phone that wants to like be just be jank. So yeah, that might that might actually be a better a better thing in the future. Oh hey, I don't remember this. Is that a demon trial? There's no smoke coming out of it, so we're pretty good. Oh, oh. I forgot all about these. I don't think this one has a power-up in it, though. I think all the power-ups are out at sea. Yes, get happy rabbits. Alright, excuse me. I'm trying to get this clover here. If you don't mind. Nope. There we go. Uh, well, I forgot that. Dude, look how much praise we have. We started this with what? Like 800 and now we're almost to 1500. I do like the fishing games in Okami. The fishing mini games are really fun. I mentioned before, they're a good way to make money. If you just want to kind of sit there for a while and just fish. I know we need the fishing minigame for the wind power up. And I'm excited for that one. I mean, but I'm, I'm kind of a sucker. I like the fishing minigame in like any game. Like FF15 was kind of okay. But I love fishing. I like, I don't know why I'm a sucker when a game has fishing minigames in it. Like you get, you get brownie points from me if you've got fishing in it. Cause I'm I'm strange like that. Do you like them, Paws? If I like it, if I like them, I'm gonna assume you don't. Oh, nice. Okay, so you like you like spiders? I don't. I like digging. You don't. But we both can agree on the fishing that the fishing is awesome. Sweet. Well, here we go. Um, gee, I wonder what your weakness is. Are you weak to win, perhaps? No, what? Are you still weak to Cherry Bomb? There's no way. Hot Cherry Bomb is still their uh, weakness, I guess. Let me guess. Cherry bomb. You would think the flying guy would be weak to chariot to win, but I yeah, I guess not. Dude, oh my gosh, with so much praise. Yeah, I really like the fishy mini game. Like, I, I would spend hours in uh, Kamui and fish with uh, Kokari just all, all the time. And it was great. 
Hey dog, what up? I don't think you actually tell me anything that's like gonna benefit me that I don't either already know or is not important. But that's okay. Alright, so I'm gonna head to the origin mirror and fast travel up into the rocky area. Yeah, that's where we have to go now. We've grabbed like everything else we could possibly grab here, I think. So we have everything. So, where is the, oh, there it is. So, yeah. And our first official use of fog pot since we bought it last time. And there should be stray beads and other cool stuff up here. Good. No. There we go. And yep, there we go. Yeah, I'm trying I'm trying not to miss as many stray beads as I possibly can like the first time around. And I'm doing I'm doing pretty pretty decent, I'd say. I um, we actually got another treasure chest. Nice. Oh, there's actually more treasure we missed. Is that? Oh, you don't keep it in like a um, like a um, a binder. That's what that's what me and my butt. I mean, I keep mine in deck boxes, but I keep mine like in the closet, like on a shelf. My buddy keeps all of his cards in a binder. Don't don't lose them, man. Yeah, put them somewhere you'll remember. Like how many de and also how many decks do you have? All right, I think these kids are only out here in the daytime. Also, there's a treasure. Used okay, yeah. Yeah, my buddy just puts all of his all of his stuff in a binder. That's just what he does now. Maybe these kids are only out here in the day. Oh, no, no, no. Ah. Uh, I saw them just in time as the sun was rising. What? Oh. Like dismantle them to build new ones or just to dismantle, just to dismantle them? Bro, get up. Fisherman, Yurashima. Alright. To make, okay, yeah, it makes sense. To make the Mega Mewtwo one? Or just to make random ones? Okay, only when you're worthy. Whoops. I think he only comes out at sunrise, he said? Oh, I should have listened to Hiroshima. But I'm a fool. Okay, yeah, just call this one out. The me okay, yeah, the Mega Mewtwo one. Like, which do I deal with that one? I know Mega Mewtwo is a psychic type. Is it going to be just psychic, or... You're going to, like, splash another uh, element in there. Ah, uh, Orca. It's kind of creeping me out. Now, realistically, Hiroshima should be dead. Dragon Palace Emissary, Rucka. Ooh. Isn't... Okay, yeah, there's, dra there's Dragon Type. I know a really good Psychic. I know Espeon, like... 
if I was gonna spend more money, like I would, I would try to find some way to make like an Espeon GX GX deck, because Espeon like how to word that? <laughs> Since Psychic's like my favorite element in Pokemon, Espeon is not my favorite Pokemon, but he's one of my favorites. Like whenever I get an Eevee in a Pokemon game, I al uh oh, I always pick Espeon. And after Espeon, it's always Jolteon. Alright, so we... Okay. Well, we need to go find the Dragon Pals, but we actually have a lot of islands to go look at. So there's a lot to go see. Plus, there's the very obvious tall tower that we have to ascend twice. Yeah, I think I think Jolteon's my, my girl's favorite as well. But that's because her favorite type is electric, so that makes sense. Jolteon, Jolteon's also my second favorite, so it, it makes sense. Jolteon just looks cool and it's fast. And it's strong. I like strong Pokemon. My favorite my favorite Pokemon of all time is kind of cheating. It's the Cyndaquil family, but it's it's Cyndaquil himself. My favorite legendary is Rick Rayquaza from Emerald. Cause Rayquaza is just awesome. Like you don't get you don't get cooler than that. Hey. Alright, well we need to cut this fruit down. Which I think only has praise in it. Yes? Wow. Oh my gosh. The praise the praise is real. Alright. So we're not gonna go to Catcall Tower right now. We got a lot of islands to go explore. We need to get those power-ups. Which hopefully we have enough. Alright, and the water dragon's probably gonna see me and probably wanna eat my face. Yeah, ah oh, jeez. Even though I'm safe in Orca, that still creeps me out. I hate it. Ugh. God, the water dragon is disgusting. Good thing we kill him. Doesn't deserve to be alive anymore. Alright. Now... Now, I don't know what islands all this stuff is on, so this is going to be kind of... We're, we're going to be a little bit kind of kind of loose, loosey-goosey here. Okay, I thought I just heard straight-up cats. Unless that's still from the, the tower. Didn't know you could hear them way out here, though. Obtained a pearl. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. We can't do about that. Well, this island was gar garbage. Okay, can you get? Thank you. Yeah, hearing the cat cry because it's so hungry. Don't worry, we we will we will save the cat. I'm not I'm not gonna leave a cat in need. I love cats. I have two of my own. <laughs> two of my own. Like I like I birthed them. Uh, water dragon. Yep, and I know when we get close, we're gonna hear the water dragon's theme, and I'm gonna get freaked out on the inside, and I'm gonna hate it, and it's gonna be terrible. Alright, this one might have one of the power-ups. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, yep, this one does. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Well... Right? I think so. Yep, okay, yeah. Now, if I remember correctly, the power-up I get is gonna cost... I believe it's the highest amount three times. I think. I'm pretty sure it's the highest amount three times. It might be two or four times. We should have enough money. We, ha we, ha we honestly actually have a lot of money. So we should actually be fine to get both power-ups in this area. First, first we gotta get all the 
all the praise. I love, I love having this much praise. It's so awesome. All right, here we go. So, yeah. Oh yeah, we have enough. Let's do it again. Yeah, we don't need money. What? What's mo what's money for? Yep, there we go. That should be... Yep, it was three. Now I can make two cherry bombs, and they're... Are they stronger, or is it just we make two? We don't need to hear him again. We already heard him the first time. Because I know we can make two of them, but I don't know if that makes the cherry bombs themselves more powerful. Because that, that I can't remember. But I mean, that doesn't matter. Like, I'm not going to use Cherry Bombs in battle anyway, so it's not like it really matters if Cherry Bomb is stronger or not, because I'm, I'm still never going to use it. Because why would we? Power Slash is just way stronger, at, well, at least I think. And it's fast. Alright, Orca, where are you? Well, not a swim uh, kind of closer to the Water Dragon. Yeah. Okay, so need to head and try to get eaten by the water dragon, which won't work. Eh. Bring it. Oh god. Yeah, I remember. I remember that, but we're still we're still quite a ways away from getting Cherry Bomb three. I was just wondering if Cherry Bomb two had like any like practical uses like in battle. But yeah, I the hardest part about getting Thomas stray bead is you have to be able to draw all three stray beads in his hut all at once. That's the annoying part. And now for the better power up, the one I will actually want, the one I'll actually use. I just hope we have enough money. So we spent a lot of money getting just Cherry Bomb. Oh, uh, dude, when we get to Nine Tails pause, we're gonna be so overpowered. Like, we're gonna be stupid powerful by the time we get there. All right, uh, yeah. This one is le- okay, yeah, we have enough. This one- wait, this one's cheaper? Dude, Power Slash is the better ability. Why would Power Slash be cheaper? I mean, I'm not gonna complain. But that's exciting. And... Yeah. All right, we don't need to see that. Now we can actually cut the slightly- Tougher rocks and now do more damage. Which would be great when we fight tougher enemies to do more damage as well. Wow, I like I was trying to be really conservative with conservative with my money, because I was worried we weren't gonna have enough to get both upgrades all both at the same time, and we actually did, and we actually have like Quite a bit of leftover money, honestly. Like, we're doing really, really good. Let's actually fight a Demon Scroll and use our new Power Slash. Because I want... Wait, oh, oh, no. Look at that. Now, I've never actually gone in the water to find out what happens if you're not in Orca and the Water Dragon eats you. He probably just returns you to the surface. I assume. Ride Orca. We have what? Three more islands? Yep, three more. Alright. Well, now we have to swim all the way across past the water dragon. Gonna go to the small one and work our way back in. Water dragon, stay away from me! Okay, yeah, so he just brings us back to shore. That's not that bad then. I mean, still creepy to let the water dragon eat you, but... Mm. 
All right, is there an easy way up here? No? Can we actually get up here? Uh, I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, barely. Wow. That didn't- that honestly didn't look makeable. And was that it that's over here? Wow, that was... Literally it. Wow. That was a very fast island. Alright, well. Uh, that was quick. And I am going to catch the marlin fish too, since I have that guy's fishing rod. Nope, up there we... This one probably has the, de the demon gate on it. Because I know the demon gate's out here, so this is the one that has it. And another golden peach. God. Yep, here it is. Not gonna do it for obvious reasons. No thanks. I choose life. We could I we could honestly probably go back and do the the first one that's in Ryoshima Coast, but I think I'm still gonna wait. Dude, get on Orca. <laughs> Alright. So to our final island. Uh, dude, I will be back. I need to explore the island because I will never ever be back here again Well, that's that's not entirely true Just Keep it nighttime just in case The Sun wants to come out. I don't think it will but Better to not sit through that little animation cutscene I like how you can see the demon trial gate smoke like way over here. Like it's trying to like it's trying to uh, tempt me. Like yeah, come do it. You know you want to. No. We could probably beat it honestly, but all right. So, pause and everyone else in chat, if you want. You guys got any plans for Halloween? Or no? Like, are you gonna go out? Are you gonna dress up? Like, I, we, like, we love Halloween, but we're kind of lazy and we don't actually, like, we don't actually celebrate Halloween, as bad as that sounds. Like, we don't even dress up, we, like, we're so lazy, we don't even dress up for Halloween. That's how, that's how bad we are. All right, fishermen. Let's do this. Dude. I got the marlin rod. You can steal it from me. It's okay. Where are you guys going to dress up, though? All right, here we go. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do anything. I mean, Halloween's on a Thursday, so like you would really want to do something on like a Friday night instead of a Thursday, in case you work. Like that'd be my case, cause like I work Friday. But I still don't. I still don't think we're gonna do anything. All right, now we have to catch Marlin. It's three, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. And I know Marlin's hard. Yeah, here we go. This is the hard one. I think it takes three slashes for Marlin too. Come on. It's two. Oh wow! 
Oh, we got that third one very easily. Sweet. All right. Nice. Not sure how he's gonna get back to shore, but... All right. Well, that takes care of this island. That take, that took care of every single island besides Catcall Tower. So my friend really likes. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, hang on. So, are you using a bed sheet or are you gonna use a fursuit? Like, which is it? Or are you just gonna use? A, or are you just saying you're using the fursuit because it's it's simple, like like the bed sheet? Both, both. <laughs> I mean, that's all right. I mean, it's still dressing up. Like any Halloween costume that I would realistically want to wear is like expensive. Cause okay. Cause I would I would like to be this, okay. This is gonna be obscure. I would like to dress up as Cats from Courage the Cowardly Dog, the guy that runs Cats Club. But that's literally just that'd be the equivalent of like buying an orange, like literally buying an orange, like fur suit would be the equivalent of that. Other than that, um, if you've played any Danganronpa game, I actually have the cosplay outfit for Kokichi that I could actually wear, which maybe I will. I'm not sure on that one yet. Alright. I mean, there's still time. You could always go to like a, to a party store and you could actually look for uh, a gift. I don't want to dress as like anything like cliche. That's like my problem. Because, uh-oh. Okay, I was going to say, uh, did we fail that? Dude. Courage the Carly Dog was one of the best cartoons growing up. My other half says it was actually scary. I don't think so, because I loved it. So it didn't scare me. Bum, bum, bum. Hey! Alright. This whirlwind ability is pretty good, but I'm also, like, I never use this one either. Uh oh, they're disappearing. I know they instantly fill your astral pouch, which ours is already full, and I could use the the praise to get another one, but eh, eh. we're not in any risk of dying anytime soon. Oh no, I have nothing against furries. I uh, I live by uh, I live by like a steak and shake near where I live, and they don't do it anymore, or maybe they do. I just don't ever see it. But every Friday we would like drive around like after work and stuff and we would see uh, fur like I would I assume furries because they'd have like the not like an outfit but they'd have like the tail and the ears and they'd be walking to Steak and Shake and apparently we asked Steak and Shake one day like like why so many furries go to Steak and Shake and they're, they they told us oh they like to have uh they call it furry Fridays where they all come to Steak and Shake on a Friday and hang out and talk and hang out and I'm like that's, dude, that's awesome. And I also love how Steak and, like, Steak and Shake was like, yeah, they call it Furry Fridays because it's an FF. And I was like, dude, that's sweet. So yeah, no, I have nothing against, I, I don't really have anything against anybody as long as like, I mean, do what makes you happy, man. Like, if it's something that makes people happy, I mean, what, really, what is the point in telling people not to do something? I mean, unlo like, unless technically you're doing something that's, like, really, really dangerous to your health, then, like, you know, don't do it, obviously. But, I mean, furries or me always playing video games, I mean, who really cares, man? It's stuff that makes us happy. Let's do what you want. Like, do what you like. Alright, to Cat Call Tower. God, I hear the cat meowing and I'm like, is that my cat meowing? No. All right. Well, holy cow! Here we go. 
not dude see that's not right like I don't know how to word it except for just like the same thing like again like if, if people don't like and and I I get where you're coming from like I I don't like play disc golf as often as like my other friends do and I don't like watch sports like they do and like that's fine but like I have one person at my work that like because I play video games so much and so often like I I get like I'm not gonna say I get made fun of but I get kind of picked on for fun because I play video games all the time which I mean if that's what they like to do then that's fine but I mean I like sometimes it gets to you sometimes it doesn't people just have their own sense of humor and it's it's kind of messed up and some people don't like it like there's some people that don't like that I play games all the time and that's that's whatever I mean as my other half always encourages me like if I enjoy it and I love it then I can do whatever I want so I mean no just because you like furries or dressed as a furry I I don't care but, okay all right all right I don't know this one's floral finisher stronger power slash holy cow that killed him uh, win? <laughs> wow, I had no idea our power slash was going to be that powerful. Kind of shocking, actually. <laughs> uh, did I feed these guys? No, I did not. And this is why I bought a lot of fish bags. So there's a lot of fish to feed. Uh, people just, people just are, honestly. Um, I, like, being honest, like, uh, something, like, I'll get critical about things, too, but I mean, most of the time, usually people that get critical of stuff is just because they're, they're actually really passionate about it. I mean, that's the positive way of looking at it. Like, I, I don't, I don't know the right way to word it, but usually people that are the most critical most of the time are just just because they care they care a lot like I mean maybe the people that criticize me for playing games they probably don't do it because they hate it it's probably just they they themselves see as quote like an unhealthy habit to like always play games which I mean that's their opinion I mean obviously mine's different than theirs because I make the lifestyle choice but I mean sometimes people just care in their in their own in their own way and that's it's not a bad thing, but I mean, it's not always a good thing. But always just remember to be positive. Just try to always think of the of the better side to everything. Oh man, I forgot that there's stuff littered all around. Okay, so uh, we're gonna climb this, and this is going to be just a lot of X pressing. Oh jeez, cat call tower. And there are still treasures to grab. Oh, and apparently stray kitties to feed. Yeah, I sorry if I'm not wording it the best pause, but people that want to put you down for it, ignore them. Just don't like don't stoop to their level. Just know that there are people that are okay that, that are okay with it. And you know, don't won't treat you any differently for something you like. So, so I try to look at the positive side. So I like, I mean, again, you're a furry. I'm not gonna judge you, and anyone else that ends up watching the streams or is here, hopefully they don't judge you either. Cause your life, your life is your own. All right, I know there's a stray bead somewhere on Catcall Tower. Is this it? No, but more stray. Oh, dude, I don't even know if I. I really hope I bought enough feed bags. I only have three left. I only have two left. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Anytime. I always talk a lot, so I'm always like, I'm always prone to like sometimes saying the wrong thing, so I get a little worried sometimes of what I say. Yeah, but I mean, it happens. There, oh, I thought that was a stray bee because I couldn't see the item. 
No other treasure chest on this platform? No. Alright. Back on the tower. Ah, oh, so much X pressing. Because Cat Call Tower. This is like the one power up in the game that I do not like. Because, like, this is all it is. It has no battle practice or utility, like, at all. Also not the stray bead. What? Where is this stray bead? Like, I know there's two that are here. Don't worry, kitty. I'm coming for you. Oh, no. All right, there we go. Oh, that's probably where it's at. And not a spot that I can easily... Yeah. Yep, and there it is. On the one platform that has no safety net, except for right here. I think we're at the top. Almost. Oh, please don't be our cat to feed. Oh, thank goodness. Woo! So glad about that. <laughs> I I thought for sure I I thought for sure I grabbed enough feed bags. I hope I did. Cause I know I have to feed the one at top. I know I have to. Oh yeah, we're at the top. Here we go. Oh, because of all the jumping? Oh, because of falling down. Yeah. Alright, don't worry, cat. I'm coming to feed you. Yeah, and I know... So I got the one straight bead for going up it. Like, finding it on the way up. The other one is climbing it again, but that one's easier because we don't have to find any treasure. So that one we can just, like, mad rush. Yeah, as a person that also has like a real life fear of heights, the Kakao Tower is like a little freaky, but also I kind of like it because it's just cool. Oh, oh. Oh, that looked like a treasure chest. Pause, do you ever do the thing where you uh, like go to the very top and jump off? Does that give you anxiety or is it, or is it just climbing it? Here, take one of my last bags of fish. <laughs> Cause I apparently did almost did not bring enough food. Alright, and there's another power up. It stopped meowing. How does it live up here? It got fed now, but who will feed it again? Oh yeah, jumping off it's fun. Climbing it, I understand. A little bit anxiety ridden. That's why I always do like the hard, the hard, the hard mashing of like jumping, like jumping off and then double jumping and then double jumping back on. All right, got them all. And it's sad that as a personal fan of loving cats and this power is like a little lackluster, kind of, kind of bugs me. Of course. <laughs> and everyone lived in peace and, <laughs> and harmony. <laughs> uh, the swirling whirlpool of evil below has driven me to this height. From this perch, I observe the world below and its descent. If my power is needed once again, I ka kabe kabe kabegami god of walls shall gladly offer a bridge of hope to the realm below. I think I've seen all the concept art. I th I think I don't. I've glossed through the presence of it soon, but I don't think I actually took the time to look at everything. But yeah, dude. Oh, cats. 
That's why I feed all the cats my way up Cat Call Tower. Because I can't, I can't let them starve, man. Ah, such a lackluster power, though. Ugh. Fairly, fairly disappointing. Not, not even gonna lie. And there should be one treasure chest up here. All right, our sun fragment. Oh, like all all the outfits? Is there is a is there a cat one? Woo! Don't hit the rings of life. Ah! All right. So I don't think I don't think I have to leave Cat Call Tower to get the stray bead, right? I don't I don't think I have to leave the tower. Like I don't think I have to leave this area. I think I can just climb right back up it, right? Hey, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh we'll leave the area and then we'll come right back. Like I don't, I don't mean like leave the entire area. I just mean like walking outside and coming back in, and then we'll, we'll climb it again. Cause we need that stray bead. Does it? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll climb it again. God, we're burning through like exploring these areas. All right, this is gonna go a lot faster this time. This should be a lot quicker. And there, again, like the first time, there's going to be a lot of X pressing. God, having double jump makes this so much faster and so much easier. Uh-oh. I want to get over there faster, but I don't want to hit the tower itself. Our concentration going up this thing as fast as possible. The rhythm of jumping. Very, very, just this part is just so riveting. Uh oh. I'm jumping a little bit too far away from the tower. This for it? Nope. Where does it go up more at? Right here? Yep. Wow, I went the wrong I went the long way around. Of course. Alright, we should be about at the top. One minute, almost there. And there we are. Yes. Uh, maybe. I should have. I think I have pictures of my cats on Twitter. I don't. Honestly, I don't actually post like probably enough to Twitter and stuff. Like, unfortunately. Because I like, like I like I've mentioned before, unfortunately I'm stricken with the d disease of being lazy. Straight bead. All right, we're just gonna jump off this bad boy. We're not. I don't wanna. What? Ah. Damn it, safety rails. Yeah, I mean, if you if you want to draw my cats, you're more than welcome to. I'm not gonna like tell you no, cause that just that wouldn't make any sense. 
Uh, maybe I'll post pictures of my cats more. I have a lot of pictures of cats on my phone, which is weird. Because, like, I have a lot of pictures of them on my phone, but I guess not a lot of them... ...online? Which is kind of strange. Because we, we take pictures of our cats all the time. It, like, ri a ridiculous amount of times. Alright. Well... Well, everyone. It is about 9 o'clock. I think we're going to call the stream here. Because we did a lot of stuff again. We're getting a lot of progress done in these streams now. I'm having a lot more fun streaming this more now than I was like at the very beginning. For whatever reason. But I'm enjoying it a ton. This is fun. Save real quick. And I want to look at our Stray Beat progress, because we might... I don't... I'll have to look up what Stray Beats to look up in the meantime. There's one in Kamiki Village. That I'm not... I'm not sure where that one is. Shinshu Fields, I know those, like I said. And a lot of these we can't do until, like, soon. Like, some of them we actually can't do until coming up. But we're getting we're getting very close to everything we need to do. But, yeah, I think we're going to... I think we're going to call this... I think we're going to call this here. Because we actually did a lot. Plus, we got a new power. What, we're only missing one more power, I think? No, two more powers. Missing Thunder, Thunder and Blizzard are the last two powers we're missing. Got the marlin. All right. How are we looking for animals fed? 95%, 100% cows, all the chickens, all the pigs, all the horses, almost all the birds. I probably missed a cat somewhere. But I'm not going for like 100% completion for cats. Like I'm not going for 100% completion for this. It's just for extra praise. And honestly, we've collected all the praise. Let's use, let's use this stuff. Let's do the Astral Pouch, actually. And we'll do our health, our ink. Our ink is full. Our ink is done. We have we have achieved max ink. Let's do health, health, health. Uh, yeah. Well, I didn't think we were going to max out ink that fast, but uh, we max out ink that fast. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. That uh like I said, that's going to that's actually going to call this stream here. So, next time on Okami, we're going to head nighttime. Thank you. But next time, uh we'll head to the Dragon Palace. And I mentioned at the very beginning of stream, but since I stream on Mondays and Thursdays, um, and Thursday is Halloween, uh, maybe I'll stream Thursday. I mean, that would probably, like, people probably aren't going to do anything Thursday night because they have to work Friday for the most part. But maybe Thursday I'll play one of my scarier games, like Resident Evil 2 or something. I don't know. We'll probably play maybe a scary game. I don't know. Uh, and then maybe for Murakami, maybe I'll stream... Like, an extra day this week to get, another, like, the second part of Okami and a spooky game for Halloween. Because, you know, it's Halloween. It's got to be spooky. So, yeah. Uh, everyone that came out to the stream, thank you so much, as always. And pause. Thank you so much, man. No, and if anyone's busy on Halloween, that's fine. I'll, I'll post to the Facebook page of Azure PKK. Which you could follow or like, and you'll know whenever I go live or anything else that I post that I don't post enough. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I'll I'll figure something out. I mean it's Monday, I still have like another couple days. So we'll figure something out. We'll do something. Um But yeah, pause and everyone else. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. It's always much appreciated. I love doing this. I love the longer streams. I love playing games. I love talking to people while playing games. I love doing this and I love all you guys that view the streams and watch it, it means a lot. So I will see all of you guys next time for maybe a spooky game or more Okami. I guess we'll find out then. So everyone, take care and make sure you got through these Monday blues. So see you guys next time. Thank you.